So you've seen holiday light shows before, but you've never seen one like this. We made custom control boxes, worked with local businesses and schools, and we managed to not only cover our entire downtown square in lights, but to also make these lights controllable from your phone. That's right, all the holiday lights on the East Troy's downtown square are interactive and controllable. We even have a game, level up and get more time controlling lights, or even earn real world prizes such as free pizza. And all of this started as a hobby project about three years ago, when a friend commented how much more interesting holiday light shows would be if you could interact with them. If, for instance, you could press a button and watch the lights spiral around the square, kind of like a shooting star. The premise seemed mostly simple. We could just build a controllable box that turned off and on lights. However, it did not end up being so simple. It turned into a multi-year journey of partnerships, improvising, improvements, um, Basically, it became a big project. So the journey began in 2017 with this. This horribly constructed control box built using random parts lying around. In my defense, a second box built by my friend Ben didn't turn out much better. Either way, do not try to build this at home. Although the kids and I had fun playing with the control box and it served as a great proof of concept, the box is woefully lacking. However, it did help reveal a few important build factors. Do you hear that clicking noise? That's the sound of mechanical relays turning off and on. Think of the relays as little light switches that we can turn off and on with our phone. Unfortunately, these mechanical relays are actually rather slow. Their maximum on and off speed per second is slower than we would want for a light show. For our next box, we will need something faster. Exceptionally fast. This brings us to our first actual prototype box. Although still not great, you can see the build quality is much improved. In addition, the box uses a solid state relay here instead of the mechanical relay from the previous box. Solid state relays turn on and off very quickly. They have no moving parts and they are silent. Rather than being a physical on and off switch like the mechanical relay, a solid state relay is made up of a semiconductor material such as silicon. Unfortunately, the solid state relays are also considerably more expensive. And when you're talking about building 40 or more of these boxes, the costs start to matter. Okay, give it a try. Heck yeah! Although not ready for a full-scale launch, we worked with local businesses to deploy four control boxes to control their lights. And honestly, we were pretty amazed with the results. We couldn't help but wonder, if this is what four boxes looked like, what would 40 boxes look like? And this is where Vanessa kicked the project into high gear. As a driving force of the East Troy community, her ability to orchestrate and coordinate projects provided the next big boost. After unveiling this beta version, the East Troy Area Chamber of Commerce worked together with our entire community with one goal in mind. Let's give people a beautiful, unique experience in downtown East Troy just in time for the holiday season. Our journey to 40 boxes began with Allen Integrated Control Systems, known for big time projects like designing the control system for Chicago landmark Buckingham Fountain. We were able to simplify the boxes and reduce costs. Allen ICS worked directly with very excited Easter High School and Gateway Technical College students and helped build the interactive light show boxes on a larger scale. After learning about the entire school's involvement, Jamie built a light show simulator essentially a way to code light shows and mimic them on the square. Making light shows is a long process involving mapping out the beats and rhythms of every song and the East Troy Middle School students did an amazing job coding the daily East Troy light shows. We loved seeing their work come to life. 
the Wisconsin Department of Tourism put the cherry on top of our support by giving East Tree Lights a marketing grant. It felt great to know they saw the potential in what we were doing, helping to bring more people to East Troy. So we're at less than one week to showtime and it's not looking good. Only a handful of businesses have their lights up and the weather is not helping. We had hoped to have everyone's lights up and tested by the 24th of November, giving us two weeks to test the show and fix any bugs. I'm also behind. In addition to the light show, we had planned to surprise everyone by launching an East Troy game. The game would allow people to gain power, which they could then use to control the lights. However, the graphics for the square's buildings were still in progress and a number of refinements and bugs still exist. To top it off, my desk treadmill is dying. Do you hear that? Walking is critical to my focus, and I've been walking almost 30 miles a day. If the treadmill dies, I'm not sure. But we are close. The light show simulator seems to be working, and the boxes are functioning as expected. And we just successfully deployed our wireless network, which we named SantaNet, on the East Troy Square. And, a little quiet, our Whoa. FM radio test is also down. Thankfully, the rain let up. Vanessa, our amazing volunteers, and our local businesses got to work. This is it. We'll do one final check. It's our last night to fix any problems. I think we're ready. You are about to witness an epic fail. A countdown to the tree lighting is about to begin. Watch closely. You'll see the Christmas tree flash on and off. Did you see that? That was me testing to make sure the Christmas tree was functioning just before the tree lighting countdown was set to begin. Now we had planned a whole skit with a green meanie, kind of like a Grinch, having stolen the power cords and the lights flickering until everyone started cheering. However, what you are about to witness started as the script and turned into something entirely different. What happened, you ask? As it turns out, someone unplugged the box. And unfortunately, after plugging the box back in, the box takes about four minutes to boot. This is actually a feature. I designed the boxes to re-image themselves on startup so that the updates are extremely easy to push no matter where the box is located. However, with all the preparation and thought we had put into the project, the box getting unplugged had not crossed my mind. Whether this was intentional or not, we later learned that some kids have been running around unplugging stuff. I'm sure they meant little harm, it's just little holiday lights. But regardless, the tree lighting kind of broke me. But of course, like any good story, that's when all the magic begins. We were inundated with wonderful messages from the community. In person, on Facebook, in emails, people were reaching out to us that we hadn't seen for years. The reception was amazing, and especially the light tunnel. The light tunnel became a place for magical moments. We watched as a soldier came back from active duty to surprise his children. And we just happened to be there when not just one, but two separate people got proposed to. It's kind of impressive. And the selfies. Oh my goodness, the selfies. We even happened to bump into a journalist from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Talk about good luck. She loved the show and wanted to interview us. 
But the real magic was just getting to be in the moment. And the students decorated them with ribbon and their names on them and these LED lights. Look outside really quick. Popular part of East Village. So this is it. We're it's our final light show. Last one. It's been such an amazing month and we're kind of sad to say goodbye. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Uh, I've been actually looking forward to ending because it's been a lot of work, but now that we're here, it's uh, it's kind of sad, actually. And we're it's, already thinking of ideas for next year. We're excited for next year. Excited. We are. We are. And we've had such a great turnout tonight and people are so appreciative and happy and thankful. And I think it's a great way to say goodbye to 2020. Yeah. Hello, 2021.